are on our way to the Poconos in Pennsylvania to film a short film in a Coen Brothers-esque sort of style and comedic tone. The film follows Buck, a man who is being cheated on. We kind of meet him at the breaking point. All right, and action, Zach. Our goal with this shot was to create an eerie and unsettling basement scene for our character to step into. With low ceilings, it was impossible to rig traditional lights above our actor. We ended up rigging a quasar light in the rafters with an Avenger clamp. Then, we mounted a small 1x1 one one diffusion panel on the ceiling to soften the light onto the actor. No matter how much planning and preparation you do before arriving to set, when you have limited time, resources, and money, you always have to be willing to adjust. On set. Again, everyone please be quiet. We got BTS running out. Thank All right. So in here we have our main living room scene. And this is kind of our main lighting setup. So we started initially with putting up two one by one hards, the Geminis, up on some Avenger combo stands. And then we actually use these Manfrotto skylights to soften the light so that we can kind of create a nice soft light overhead and it creates these nice shadows for some tension of the scene because it's supposed to be intense. And then, so we did the scene with this light and we thought it was good, but it felt a little too bright still. And we actually used the DOP Choice egg crate that snaps onto these, which is super easy. So we'll lower the skylight and kind of show you how easy that goes on and the difference it makes on the scene. So let's lower this down. And part of the reason we put the egg crate on is because basically the light coming through the diffusion spills on the walls and this kind of just centralizes the light on the characters in the scene and creates a lot of dramatic lighting kind of around in the setting. We can control more of the background and the separation between the characters in the background by using this. And as you can kind of see here, we'll show you on the camera, but basically all the light is centralized right here and it kind of creates this nice soft dramatic lighting that we really loved for the scene. In the background, there's no spill. We control, we can send red light in the back. We can kind of do what we want back there. We end the short film with Buck driving off, smiling, having just accomplished what he set out to do. For this final scene, we really wanted to recreate a driving scene at night, but be able to control the lighting, as well as add a dolly move for the final shot. We used a slider mounted on some clamps with some C-stands, which helped balance the slider and make the move more feasible. As a small crew, we wanted to utilize every piece of gear we had. To help sell the effect, we had two people standing by on the sides spinning lights. Your kit is a tool. Story comes first. Utilizing whatever tools you have in the best possible way, that's the magic of making movies.